like? Yep. Cool. All right, we're live. Hello. Cool. Let me just move this dead. All right. So, finally got some uh, music going on in the background. Is that a nice one? Huh? Um. Mine is. Turn mine on. Yep, there you are. Hey, you're my now. So, <laughs> hello everybody. Sorry, take for the Um, but yeah, so we got some music mainly for us, but it helps with the video too, I guess. So it's mostly for us, so it's not so quiet. Yeah, so here. we're not like painting in dead silence, trying to talk just to suck up the silence. So. This is the beginning of my turnip head. This is the ground, this is the grass, and this is his, um, I don't know, his stick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was a scarecrow, so. And then, I don't know, yeah, you guys can see that pretty good, I think. I work on the blade a little bit off camera, so now it cuts it like that. It's got a, that orange to green fade with the, like, I did, like, some, like, white lighting, like, energy lighting going down it. So I pretty like that, pretty much. I like that a lot. I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like this little cufflink. It's like a little coupler or whatever you want to call it. Uh, copper, just like the rest of his armor. Just like a lot of his armor that is. Uh, I think I'm gonna do these, uh, like hip plates or whatever these things are right here. Like tacit, I guess you could call it. Um, those copper as well. Uh, I also did some, a little bit of highlight. It's good to put see on camera. It's so bright, but it did some highlighting here on the top. And on this cloak, I did some, as you can see, like some parts really like, shine, um, not quite so much. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for those, um, those Reaper Bones I've been waiting for. I'm waiting for, um, pretty excited for those to come in the mail, finally. What do you think? be fun for you. You won't run out of anything to do. For You'll a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Pretty sure that was on camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Um... It'll be fun, and it'll be cool and all, but, um, I'm really excited for the, um, brushes. Yeah, those know. should be, like I said. those be, should be pretty nice. Yeah, they should be know? pretty nice brushes. Um, I think it's ghost, they're called ghost brushes. Um, Shoot, there's like, some... Thanks for the so what about this paint is actually still good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Um, we just went to the store not too long ago. Our, like, this, our, like, local, uh, our local art store. Um. Our local it's gonna get. Uh, we haven't tried it. It apparently it just came out a few months ago, so it's new. Um, I'm pretty excited to try it, but I have a big old glob of black over here, so I'm gonna just use that, but... Um, hopefully I'll be able to try it out if I get to this, because we got a green. It was a set that had the primary colors, black, white, and green. And we bought ourselves a gray as well. Yeah. And we bought a gray too, because we use gray. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll mention when I'm using this, but so far I'm not using it, but... Yeah, I'm actually going to be using it here in a minute to, like, finish up this yellow one here on top. 
Yeah, this is a little, it's a little bit different yellow. This is a golden yellow, so maybe actually maybe I won't. Now I think about it. Uh, maybe I'll figure out. See if I can. I don't know, we'll see. So this is what um, I'm pretty excited though, because the guy that was talking to us, he does art as well, and he uses he went to the convention that um, like when it came out when it came out, and um, he he got to play with it and he really liked it. He even showed us um, what he did at the convention because they had skateboards there and he just painted on the skateboards. And it was the glossy side, mind and it you. Was the glossy side too and it stick and it covers really nice and sticks nice and it looks really good. So I'm really excited and it looks pretty promising for like mm -hmm. a future product to invest in for us. Yeah. Um mind you, we do this just for the fun of it. So but um i still want my shit to look good <laughs> yeah so um it should it'll be pretty exciting to try that i'm a little upset because of the type of red they gave you is the primary red the primary red instead and of cadmium I, I don't like this red i it's like a little bit too pink i like cadmium red a lot more because it looks more red this has kind of like a it's got this like pinkish tone to it and i'm just not I'm exactly here for it. <laughs> I don't like it. I was not like it. I did that well. Sorry. Anyway, so, um, yeah. That's what we did earlier. We spent, like, $50 on paint for, like, two, four, six, seven, seven, two-ounce, two-fluid-ounce bottles. About $43, I think, because it was on sale, wasn't it? Yeah. But show, show them the primary red and basics versus that one, though. Like, not, like, open it up, but, like, show the size difference. Oh, the size difference? Yeah. There So, the other primary red is, is that big compared to that big. But the the basics is $5. That one is, like, what, like, 8 bucks a bottle? The smaller yeah. one? About 8 bucks a bottle, but has three times the pigment as the basic. So, I'm... This... This better be some promising so, stuff right because, here. So, because of how strong it is, really, you can, if we had, so we can actually take some medium, like whatever medium we want, and actually dilute that down. And technically, we could get more paint out of it, like two or three times the amount of paint out of it, compared to the basics. Yeah, so, um, so hopefully yeah. it's great. <laughs> so, anyway, I actually have medium if you would like to dilute that. Um, if I use any of it, sure, but I don't know if I'm a... I'm, yeah, I have, some, I have some medium in the other room. I'm not sure if it's something that I... I'm going to be breaking out. I might for the grass, but I don't know. Because uh, I don't know if I want to use this green. Just, oh, true. It's, um... I don't know. It might be a... It's not a bad green. It's just... it's. I don't yeah, know. I think I would put that, that... That, um... I think it's... That green, it was it bird, ridiculous hue or whatever. That green hue. Yeah. Right there. Um, I like that. I like that one a little bit better as a base color. Cause that one is pretty bright. Cause this is like. This is like. like the color bounce is a little bit off because on yours is a little bit. I think our color bounce is a tad off because it's a little bit washed out on yours. Oh, it is. Yeah. Let me do some. Let me tweaking. Do some tweaking real fast. Um. Yeah. This is very like kindergarten. <laughs> Green? I don't know how to explain it besides that. Like, like if you get a, you get like a crayon out. Got like green all over the place. Just go ahead and wipe that on my apron. It'll dry soon. green that I think of grass. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. 
So I may or may not even touch any of these now that I think about it. Which is kind of unfortunate because, like, we just bought these. I want to use them. <laughs> but it's fine. It's another project. Yeah, some of the time. Um, I know I, I got plenty I know, of paint behind me. I know, so I kind of wish, wish we had gotten a lime green just so, so like... Like, I can make, like, all of this, like, this interior, like, a lot of this, because it's going to end up green, especially right here. So I can just make that one pass, possibly. But, um, I'll live. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to take a nice small brush and go ahead and fill in some of these. Some of these right here is this, uh, like, tacit bit, and then his legs. But I think I'm gonna use some new orange actually. I'm using by the way I'm using orange fire in color. I'm using the basics black. <laughs> <laughs> the basics black doesn't have I don't think it has multiple colors, I think it's just this one. Yeah, whereas the <laughs> whereas the, the the nicer paint that we got has like there's Mars black and then there's uh, something else black, like it looks like a charcoal like color. Like charcoal black, or like, I don't know. It's like I don't remember the actual name of it. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just using basics. Yeah. I, I, basic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like saying what I'm using just because I I know that when I'm watching a lot of like streamers paint, that I want to you know like oh that's a really cool color. What color is that? Or like oh what do you what are you mixing to get that result? Yeah. And it's easier just to, uh, you know, if they say, then to, like, you know, have to ask about it. And especially if they're really popular, they're going to have a lot of comments going. And, you might, and they're probably going to miss it. Yeah. You're not the only one there commenting. <laughs> no. Because I'm right handed, I kind of wish the tripod was on the other side, but it'd be in the way of everything. Yeah, I know, right, because like, I have to keep like, and like, because of where the palette is, I have to keep like, crossing my arm over, over like, everything. Mm -hmm. No! Ah, I would get purple in a spot that it doesn't belong! Where'd you get it? It's on the black. Oh, I thought you for a second. I thought you, I thought you, I thought you were telling me you got it on white. I was like, well, have fun covering that one up. Nah, it's okay. Well, this music actually isn't that bad. Just something for the background, it's not bad. Yeah, like it's just background music. It's like we hear in like just like generic, like, not generic, but like it's not like easy like in like YouTube tutorials. Just like it's just better than silence. It's yeah. Like, like a video. It's like like for our time lapse. I kind of want to see if we can put in some just noise. Uh, just noise. Just so it's not just a silent time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> But we'll see if we can get that far. We still haven't posted it because we just started, we just figured out how to do it. And yeah. it's still in the process of everything else, so. Yeah, um, <laughs> when you have a five hour, like a f almost five hour video, it takes a while to render if you don't have a like awesome computer at doing it. Is it like a, uh... It's a multi-threading thing. Oh. So like if, you're, if, you're, if your computer doesn't have a lot of threads to actually like process that much, process that much stuff, it takes forever. So like if I had like a few that have so like um so like now that we're doing a lot of this like
production stuff. Mm-hmm. Makes me I want to get like instead of going with what I wasn't gonna get like, when I whatever got around to upgrading my computer, I want to instead like, go back to what I thought I was gonna do the first time is do the thread ripper because I have mm-hmm. all the cores that will let us do stuff like this. Yeah. Like expedite this process a lot faster. Yeah. Like it'll still do what I want to do like if I want a game or something, but it will make this process much nicer. Yeah. What? But the thread ripper was a. Um... It's a different size. A CPU. Yeah, CPU. Yeah, third of a CPU. Well, I guess when we get around to it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of down the list for right now. I mean, if we really get into this, then it's not quite so far down the list, but we've got, we even then, we've got some stuff ahead of it, coming up ahead of it. Yeah. Because um, we've got a big, we've got a pretty big commission coming up, hopefully. Yeah, which, that would be fun to film and, um do live streams like this, keep you guys updated of our misery slash enjoyment. Um, yeah. And our process. So, like, if you guys decide to commission or even decide to make your own six-foot sword, you will know the process to make it somewhat decent. <laughs> hey, Gora, thanks for the host. If you're watching. Oh, how nice of her. She has to be on auto. Oh. So, like, it automatically does it if she's not hosting someone else. Oh, we should do that for her. Yeah. We don't have a following, but... Um, we have five, so. Yeah, we have five. Woo! And, like, most of that is people we know and one of them is you. So, four. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. It's so fun. Hey, be safe if I can follow myself. <laughs> but I haven't figured out how to clone myself yet, so... Um, anyway, so, um, that should be fun. Um, it's gonna be hell. I'm gonna hate it. I'm not gonna hate it, but the painting part is gonna be the easiest part. The sword is literally gonna take us a week or more to print. <laughs> um, if it was nonstop, I think it's seven days. Yeah, or it's like six days like 12 hours so or like 11 hours so it's like six and a half days and but that's non-stop if we could fit it all on the bed at the same time which we can't we can't because it's not six foot, like the five something one hour. like each piece of it takes up almost the entire bed so um, it's like almost the sword is like i have no paint no nothing on it is gonna weigh something like four or five pounds four like four ish five pounds something like that yeah um before paint and all the stuff we're going to be adding to it, so yeah, yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna be a process, definitely. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty, um, it's gonna be massive. The part that's gonna be hard is because um, our of our three D printer, you can see texture on our stuff. So to get rid of that, we have to do like wood fill, and then we have to sand it. And O M G, that's a rough time right there. Just saying, we're gonna have some mask on. We're gonna do the whole. I got glasses on, so I'm not gonna put on uh, safety goggles. But um, it's gonna be a rough time. Oh my goodness, this is Josh Peck's beginning. Yeah, it's free. He doesn't want, <laughs> he, he want to pay for stuff. <laughs> I like how you just like instantly like stopped and recognized something. I stopped and recognized this. Um, in case no one here knows, Josh Peck has a YouTube channel. <laughs> go, uh, go check him out. <laughs> in case you're out of the loop of people who used to be at Disney Channel, like, circle. Excuse you, did you just say he's on Disney Channel? What was he on? Oh, sorry. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Sorry. OMG, I can't believe you went there. <laughs> Sorry, you can tell I pay attention. Um, yeah, he he has a YouTube channel. He pretty much just uh, does videos with David Dobrik, and he he goes to his house and makes him eat a bunch of food. He does other videos like uh, losing your recard and stuff like that, but like he it's it's mostly him eating with David Dobrik or just being with David Dobrik. His number one fan. Slash friend now. That's what it seems like, at least. <laughs> he was his fan? Oh, yeah, he was a huge uh, Drake and Josh fan. 
when he found out that uh, Jason, mm-hmm. ta- uh, Trisha's, yeah, um, when, something. When he found out that he was on a episode of Drake and Drake and Josh, and even then, I don't. He's like, I don't even recognize the scene, but you can look it up. Um, and when he found out that um. He could get a hold of him and stuff. He freaked out, and when he first met him, it's like a video. You can like look it up. That's cool. But now they're friends, so he's a little less like. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Fan girl crazy about him, but he still like is just a. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a thing that like before you're, before you're famous that like ever like oh crap yeah that's that's that, that's that guy he's you know he's just sitting right there. Yeah. But then after you're that guy, she's like, no, yeah, I'm just a regular dude. Oh, hey, look, it's that guy sitting over there. Yeah. And then, and then you get that, but, oh, bye, Bob. There's this dude, too. Yeah. So, anyways, um, that's his, his beginning is this. But it was, like, the beginning. It's, like, only a few seconds of it, because he does, like, his little intro yeah. A voiceover intro. That's cool. Alright. I need some new green there. Um, I think this cat is like almost done. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's. Like, he's literally like four shades. He's four different colors. That's it. It's just these colors. And then his bottom half is just black. <laughs> There's only so many layers of black until it's still black. <laughs> yeah, it's just like making sure it's solid. I think it looks pretty solid now. I'm pretty much done. That's good. Well, well, tomorrow I can, um, tomorrow I can clear cut that for you. Oh, dude, you should clean up that when it's done printing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be done. Show the yeah, it's going to be done pretty soon. Yeah, it looks really nice. I think I, I think I want to say it took so long because they put it on, like, point... I, put, I think I either put it on point one or point six. I'm not sure. Either way, it came out really good. Yeah, it was bomb. It has so many supports, so you're going to have to take off the support. Yeah, it's going to... So they're not going to wreck it. Well, I'm actually going to... Once it's done, I'm going to have to give it a couple of minutes. So it's pretty cool off. I know, but I mean, like... Yeah, you should do it still do it on stream. Yeah. yeah, oh, for sure. So that they can see it. Yeah, you know, like I said, I need a new green. They meaning the ghosts. Uh, uh, yeah. The 100 ghosts following us. I should, uh, I should change my, I should change, I need, I need to, like, oh, you know what, I should, yeah, it'll be, it'll be funny. It'll be a reason to, um, buy, uh, start buying some of the night haunts. Or buy like a little night haunt kit for from Game Workshop for the for there's like there's a ghost there's like a little set of ghosts. I should buy that, change my icon to that, just so I can tell. Hey, what's up, ghost? What's up, ghost? That would be awesome. It'd be funny. Crap. Let this open. Oh, it's good. It didn't dry out. How long do you leave it open? A day or two. Dang. It didn't dry out though. Well, yeah, they're liquid, but like they still, you know, you still want to leave them up forever. I mean, it's you might as well have left them up. Just like it's basically just when you close it, they're just less open because these do not seal seal air tight. Oh. Uh, a lot of people complain about these, and what they do is they buy like a like especially if they buy like all of the all of um, Citadel or Games Workshop paints, they'll buy a bunch of these. Like a generic, a generic, ver- a generic version of these bottles, which you can get on Amazon for like like fifty of them for like twenty bucks. Wow. Uh, I think or something like that. Twelve bucks? No, twelve bucks. Twelve bucks for like fifty of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just replace. I'll put I'll put all of these into into these. Like even their actual like paints, not just their washes, because none of their containers actually seal seal airtight anymore. Apparently they think they used to with their lab before they moved to like what's called what, actually before they moved to Citadel paints. They used to just be called, I think, like, Warhammer paints or Games Workshop paints or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now they're Citadel paints. Anyway, the new containers do not seal airtight. So if you take, like, a, you know, year break from painting and you are and you bought yourself a nice big set of these Citadel paints, you're going to come back to nothing. 
I'm gonna come back to you to um, a solid mess of acrylic. Like instead, like if, if you if you don't like take your paints and move them into these these guys, uh, which a lot which a lot of people who paint with these do, just like they buy a new one of these, put it right into one of these, just because it keeps them nicer for longer. But neither here nor there, and we're gonna get back to getting the, some of the details on done on this guy. I think unlike some of these other guys, which they look kind of like that, instead of doing like the yellow glow in the chest, I'm actually gonna do these the guys like glow right here green. Just to like make like a difference because this guy's like a um, like a fleet commander or something like that. Did you just finish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Go pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. I just the paper. Three of them. Bam. Actually, gonna put them inside of each other. Oh, they let fit on the low foot. That fit on the screen. Huh? Let's see what fit on the screen. Oh shoot! I forgot. DJ needs to go in here. Oh. Just drop him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to set him in. Um, uh, they're they're plastic. Like if you really broke it, we could really. If he if it was really broken, we could just print another one. So I think he's. Oh oh oh! That print's almost done. I'm finally done with yeah. these three, man. Look, look at them. Look, hey, hey, look! That three D print's almost done. I know. It's a little kinky. It's a it's a vanilla face. Um, for the most part, I'm going to showcase them. They're just going to, they're going to hang out somewhere where I can see them. Um, I'm only going to put them inside of each other for showing somebody or, uh, for traveling purposes. Otherwise, they're going to be sitting out. I really like my Totoro the most. He came out the best, I think. He's not really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of Gigi because he's done. Put it on my Instagram, my Insta. And then I'm gonna start on this, but first I gotta prime it. I haven't primed it yet. I should have done it already because I knew we were going to um, stream, tonight. stream tonight, but. Man. <laughs> I... So to prepare. Prepare, failing to prepare is, a, is, fa is preparing to fail. First of all, sir, I had work last night until 9.30 at night and well, my feet hurt. Well, you didn't even plan to tell me to do it. I know. It's like... Um, then I slept in until like almost 10 and then I had work at 12 today, so... Um, I should have told him to just go and spray it because we have a spray can of it, but... I didn't think about it, so I'll just do it by hand, because uh, it's dark out and I, and it's kind of windy today too, so I really don't want to deal with so, that. Right yeah, now. good luck. <laughs> it's just not worth the hassle at all. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a few pics on my little Gigi, because he's a cutie. I believe it's a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Yeah. Ah, ah. Paintbrushes, not in the places that they should be. Ah. What's wrong? He came off.
Nice. That's good. It's aligned right. Oh, it's so cute. I didn't know how you put a filter. Yeah, I did. It's just because of the light, and I don't know how to explain it. It looks better with this specific filter on. Mm -hmm. I don't know, does it? Look at Does that one? Where's the filter? Oh, I see. It adds a little bit of blue. Or adds a little bit of uh, blue light to the, to the mix. Do you think it looks better without the filter or with it? That's what I That uh, the print was finished, so I am going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Me show you guys uh, the uh, unwrapping. I guess you could call it. Actually, I'm going to give it just a minute. So uh, our uh, co-star can help. Our co-star can see. So, I'm liking how this is turning out. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with his head. I think I'm just gonna do like do some eye color, do some like color his eyes and then color his orb up here. And I'm probably gonna call that good after I finish up his ribs. Oh, I need to color this orb back here too. And uh hmm. I'm not sure. Oh well, yeah, maybe I'll do like this bit of the, like the staff copper as well. Alright, well. Alright, time to unwrap that. Fine. Yeah, I waited for you to unwrap that. Okay, cool. Oh, nine Sorry, hours. my mom called me. Nine hours thirteen minutes on that part. Damn, nine hours and thirteen minutes. That's too long. Because all the support there off really easy. Oh, it did? It came off quite really easy. Oh, Are you going to take it off there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, see what kind of mess it is originally? <laughs> yeah, so here is um, the mess that it starts out as. It will hopefully not end nearly this bad. Oh, well, time to go to work. Mm -hmm. so, thankfully, it supports or I don't have any like infill that the rest of the thing does, so they are fairly actually they're actually fairly weak. So check this bottom bit. Did you do it on a raft? Yeah, I had to do it on a raft. Uh, or I, oh, I did it on a raft. No. No, I did it on a brim. Because of, because of the way it, it, it was, it already sat flat. Oh, okay. Because of it, the, like it's tore the torso. Yeah. So that it just, the arms were in the air, so it needed supports. So really, it's just kind of like, you kind of just like carefully yank off all of the, all of the extra bits that are not part of the print. And just, you know, being careful of any kind of um, uh, details that your print may or not have. And there's our guy underneath all of this. Hey! because sometimes they really get stuck on there. And they just help you just really yank it off. Just about revealed. There's some little bitty pieces here and there. Oh, right, right. There we go. Alright, I think that's all of them, except for this bit in the bottom here. Other than that, he's just going to be some cleanup.
Well, that came out pretty good. How that face came out. It's pretty good detail, actually. Huh? It looks nice. It does. No wonder it takes so long. It has so much detail. Yeah, look at all the, look at all the, like, the little bitty bits of like heraldry and like, the, eye, the eyes with the gilding around them. Oh, yeah. And then his face. Yeah. So you've got a crown on, his hair. He's got to do those two things that are inset right there. Oh. They're for, they're for later for so you can attach uh, the, the wings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there is actually a support in here, which hopefully will be easier to dig up than it looks like. Hey, mm. thank you for the follow. Who is it? Uh, happy you are. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna try priming this by hand. I really don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice. I hate. Priming by hand. Get my shitty brush. Where's the shitty brush? Here it is. And Can you hear it crackle. That's why I, sh I have this channel marked as mature. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I know. I, it's not I, like I, I know. Is my fucking comma and my fucking period. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Ow! Ow! So, actually, this is actually gonna be one of the things attached to him. Honestly, but. I wish I could just dunk this in, man. <laughs> Did you say dunk it? Yeah, just dunk it in primer. Just have, We should have, like, just this tub or something, so we just dunk shit in primer and let it dry. Yeah, that worked. There we go. Hey, there's, there's the plug out of there. I just, just like, like, shoved this in there and I ran, and just to move it, and it pulled the plug out. Oh, nice. Yeah, there you go. There's a trick for you. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that to come together. We um, did a um, the time lapse is technically of that, but it messed up. No, it was the legs. Oh, it was the legs. It was the it legs. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have printed the leg. Otherwise, I'd be undoing the legs or undoing the legs from other supports right now instead yeah. of this. But so I figured, eh, I'll fix that file. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll get this printed. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, can you start print, 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 printing? If I could speak, could you please print, um, turnip pen? Uh, turnip pen? the next piece? Yeah. Do we want to print his legs? Um, yeah. Okay. I think I'll go from bottom to top. That works. Because I feel like it'd probably be easier to just That's... assemble him painted. Yeah, or like, yeah, so you can just like assemble as you go. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll get on that right now. Yeah, I should have just sprayed this. This sucks. It dries so fast, too. I know. So, like, you can't, like, put down a ton. Otherwise, it'll just, like, you're just going to lose it all. Yeah. You have to work fast. Mm-hmm. All right, that's cleaned up the crown a bit. It was, like, all, like, had all that um, stringing on it. Oh no, getting primer on my hands. Um, with that primer, it's kind of hard not to get on your hands, oh really. Oh my goodness. Earlier. <laughs> earlier. <laughs> so, like, I was trying to take off. Somebody. So, new so, so, you know how anything you buy has this, like, thing? Like, right it's here? like the, um, like, the, like, the, like when you. The seal it. The, the, little, the little seal that they glue down. So I was getting annoyed and I took it off with my teeth. Mistake. So I got like green shit all up in my mouth. <laughs> my, okay, I'm gonna just for, warn. Like, for, for like bottom teeth, like front bottom teeth were like completely green. I'm gonna just warn everybody now. Don't. Whoever is a miniature painter and you have this habit of sticking your, your, Paint uh, your paintbrushes in your mouth, don't do it. This shit kind of burnt the, my tongue a little bit. Like, it's not that it hurt or anything. It's just I knew it shouldn't be ingested, nor should it stay in my mouth for any longer than when I ran to the <laughs> sink to fucking take it out. Oh, right? No. I know. I know. <laughs> so the, 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 the happy you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. It, 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 yeah, she was not happy after that happened. Um, it was awful. <laughs> um, so, note to self, note to everybody else who happens to see this video, do not put this in your mouth. Uh, also, if you're a manager painter, another great tip is if you have coffee in a mug, coffee in a mug, don't also um, put your wash water in a mug um, because invariably, you're about your, eventually, you're going to stick your brush in your coffee and possibly take a sip of your wash water. Thankfully, I haven't done neither yet, but I've very come very close to doing that. Yeah, so, um, I, on the other hand, has have never had that, um, habit of putting my brush in my mouth, because I know even painters do it, because in my art class in the past, I've had people put them in your mouth. It's because you can clean the brush fast, and then you get, like, get back to what you're doing, or, like, it's so you can go from one color and then quickly blend it, blend, blend the next color before it dries. It makes sense, okay? I'm not <laughs> hating. But because I've never experienced that, I didn't know what paint tastes like, really. So it kind of hurts. <laughs> they said, oh, uh, you done it with your watercolor? Yeah, uh, I bet that doesn't taste great here. Dude, uh, I don't, like, I get why people do it, but, um, I've never done it just because I've, I've never felt like it helped or anything, uh, for my art at least, but I can see why people do it. Yeah, so what, I'm, like, working over, like, a pretty small area, so it's just, like, you know, you need to move, and, like, paint dries fairly quickly, especially if you have, like, a fan on, so, like, you're gonna go, it's gonna go from, like, you know. It's going to go from wet to, like, barely on the miniature to dry fairly quickly. Yeah. I'm assuming watercolor, um, probably, I've never done it before, but I'm assuming it doesn't taste as bad as, like, a very thick paint does. Because, <laughs> like, that, like, that new paint, that, that gesso, is, like, a step down from, like, house paint. Like, in, like, thickness. I kind of, like, rinsed out my mouth a few times, <laughs> and even then, I kind of felt like there was still paint in my mouth, so... I mean, yeah, I feel like your teeth were, like, tinted green for, like, a, for like the next, like, couple of minutes. Like, it, I tell you. It was gross. I had to do some, like, <laughs> mouthwash business and stuff. It was, it was not fun, but, you know, shit happens. Life goes on. Alright, back to where I was. Back on, back on track with this guy. Oh, you're not going to start painting any of that? Oh, that guy? No. no. Uh-uh. Well, you know what? Screw it. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna use that primary red. Okay. <laughs> the pinkish red? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a demon. Let's do it red. There you go. 
Do you need to prime it or is it a prime? Oh, it's not prime. You're right. All right. Um. I'm almost done priming. Yeah, no, it's fine. I think I'm actually gonna. I'm thinking about priming black actually. Oh really? Are you gonna go spray it real quick? No, I don't want. Really want to go outside. I know it's kind of well. Yeah, I, I have that. What you're using the white primer? I have it in black. Um, I think it's just like over there. Um, I actually, yeah, I can, I can, I can see it now. Um, I was thinking about priming the actual like the where the skin or like the skin tone is gonna be. Um, black. I hope you didn't expect this tripod not to get paint on it, because there's some, like, serious paint <laughs> you going on. Paint all over it? And, you know, that shit happened. Ten, um, ten points. I'm gonna just let it be. Um, you know what, first I'm actually gonna smooth this out, smooth this out a tad. Um. Alright, so, I think, a let me high. see what brown I'm gonna use. I was thinking about using the heavy body, the, uh, raw sienna for, like, um, right... Is it even in there? Oh, yeah, it is. For, yeah. like, right here. Um, because I kind of think of this as dirt, and then this is grass. I'm assuming that's the point of what this is. Uh, this was a free file that we got on Thing Thingiverse. Yeah. So, um, we printed that. And it came out pretty okay, considering it's got all kinds of, like, lines and stuff. But I feel like it gives it that, like, grassy texture. So, I think I'll use raw sienna, or maybe... Let me see. I'm gonna need some more file. <laughs> Cause that is way down. That That's is purple. Way, way that is not the thing I need. So I'm gonna work on this first right now. I don't know. That that's a little too yellow. What is this? Oh, this is raw sienna, but in basics. <laughs> okay, yeah. that was helpful. Like this um, is different. It is not different. Burnt sienna. I don't know. I kind of like the burnt sienna. Cause there's burnt sienna and then there's raw umber. And then there's this one. Do you have raw umber? I thought I did. Where? Check it. There it should be. There should be two oh, browns. There should be two browns. I don't know. I feel like this is too dark, and it, I think the raw sienna is still a little. Yeah, the burnt umber is really dark. Ooh. It's really dark. Right. I like it for leather. Like if you're gonna look for leather looks, it's really good. It's really good too. And then go over it with, and then to like. Use the. Um, Do I have a brown? I have raw. Oh, I have raw umber too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you. Why did I buy those when you had those again? Um, because apparently my basics is not good enough for you. So. Well, that and it's really, really liquidy. But now I now that I know because we talked to the guy at the art store that it's essentially the same thing, just less liquidy. Just thicker paint just thicker. and it's more just, expensive. <laughs> yeah, for just the thicker medium. So. All right. What do you think? Should I? Oops, on my part. Should I just do the, um, raw sienna, the raw umber, or, oh, that's red onyx, that's not, that's not a color that I need. I just put it away, why did I put it away? Or should I bur do burnt sienna? Um, oh, that looks so red on camera. Oh, it does? I, I, think, I, think, I don't know, I'll have to play the saturation to get it just right, just because the camera settings keep resetting themselves. Like, oh, actually, that's correct. It's just the lighting, I think. I don't know. Anyway, either way. Um, I don't know. I like, I like, um, the raw sienna a little bit better. This is a little bit more, I feel like this is more of like a soil like brown. Soil brown? Um. Because I feel like this is a little too dark. I use this for leather. You use it for leather? I use this for leather and then highlight with this. Uh, uh, I really like how that turns out. See, this is pretty. This is, pretty, this is a little dark. Yeah, it's like... This looks like mud. Like, if it was wet... Yeah, it's great for... Yeah, yeah, that would work as really well as well for great for mud. Um... Alright, yeah. So, um... Are you done? Are you done with the primer? Yes. Awesome. I still think this is a little light, but maybe I'll mix some. I don't know. Yeah. I'll start with this and see what happens. I'll start with the, uh, raw sienna. Can I go ahead and, um... Borrow your little box you're using? No. Little box. Is there a trash box for stuff like this? Because we don't want the primer on shit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do the... I guess we'll do the raw sienna and we'll see what happens. There you go. Start. Um... Start. Oh, it is? Yeah, I just started. What are you doing? The uh, turn head legs. Oh, okay. For the next piece. Okay, cool. 
Um, I think this thing needs more water, babe. Uh, probably. Be, because we keep the fan on. It's because I'm a hot noodle. I'm <laughs> a steamy hot pasta noodle. <laughs> you, you really need to chill. All right. So. Oh, no. Anyway. <sighs> Alright, I think this is, this is, this is dry. This is good. Uh, what brush are we using for... This one right here. Oh, you can keep I was going to hand it to you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I was going to use it. Oh, okay. I thought you were, I was like, oh, darn. This is our trash brush. Yeah, I'm just going to... our, um... It, it's, just one, it's, just, it's just one that's already been through so much abuse that it's kind of just great, a good primer brush now. Though this is the for big applications like this, this is where I'm really happy this stuff dries quickly. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, I just got it on the grass. This is gonna be lovely. Ten points for Haley. This is gonna be amazing. Amaze balls. Let's do this. This is definitely gonna need a few layers. Um, I'm kind of, let me know how that paint works. I'm actually pretty like, excited. I totally just like, I keep, whenever I have a brush longer than the brush I'm used to, I always just like stab the camera. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. I can't feel pain. <laughs> you know what you should probably consider doing? Huh. Um, using this for when we want to do time lapses of what we're 3D printing. Oh, the arm. And get another one of what I have. Another tripod? Because it's out of your way. Yeah, honestly, I like this because I can get just like the, just like right, like whatever I'm looking at, that's what the camera gets. But at the same time, yours kind of gets the same effect for, you know, cheaper. Because <laughs> I th honestly, I think what I'm using costs more than what you're using. Yeah. I'm almost positive. Because I, I think, I want to say I paid like 20 something almost th al almost 30 something for this when we paid i think 25 for that tripod yeah all right so yeah here we go i'm getting all up in these um um what this is supposed to be is grass i'm getting all up on it but you know it's fine i'll just go over to the green I might try out that, um, this green. Mm -hmm. I might try this out, but for a, um, highlight kind of thing, or like just... Um, yeah, for sure. You know it's a mean? nice bright green. Like, it's not quite thinking, lime green, but... I was thinking of using, like, this color and, like, um, a tad bit of yellow here and there to give it, like, different colors. Yeah. Like, as if the sun is shining on it. Um, I have a lime green in miniature painting if you're willing to be conservative with it. Um, probably not. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Fine, stay over there. I use a lot of paint here. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna show you. I know, I know you do. See. There's our palette. This is my side, and this is his. <laughs> I'm a little more liberal. <laughs> well, I'm a little look, extra. Show what you show, like the basics paint size. Well, why are you here? This is my size. So like, I'm also used to painting on canvases and stuff because I paint paintings. So rather than usually doing models like I'm do, like I do. So, but I'm like getting into like doing like this kind of stuff, which is actually kind of fun. Like the third time I said that camera tonight. I'm actually pretty, I enjoy this a lot. Um, I think there will be times when we do stream that I'll be painting something and I'll use the tripod to my advantage, but you'll probably see me a little more because I don't think there's a way to so, like not get you in the frame, and, in the frame. and keep the cameras in frame. Like, so, unless you, like, post it up in front of you, like, and had done it, something like that. That'd be so annoying to It do would be that. really annoying. You'd have to have, like, monkey arms to reach. <laughs> It'd drive me nuts. It wouldn't be worth it, honestly. So. Did the background I think that playlist just stopped, yeah. Darn it. I'll start it again right now. I was going to say, you should find some, like, piano music. Oh, well, I the thing like is... Piano. Okay, I'll start off on piano. Well, the thing is... Oh, it says... Oh, video pause, continue. Oh, okay. just things were gone. Oh. I think we just left it going, which we did, but just keep going. Do, do piano, though. Okay. 
I like piano. Of course, that's legal for us to be. Yeah, I was just trying, I just, had, I just found a, oh, look, here's a whole place for just piano. Um, what? Uh, some, some of the same, some of the same ones were on this, though, this, by the way. There's, there are new ones on here, but, like, there's, like, half a dozen that are already on here. This is a song like piano music. I don't know, I said royalty free music piano. Uh, you can tell that we are totally experienced in this whole yes, stuff. Mainly experienced. <laughs> Veterans, Virtusus, whatever you want to call it. Are they like using the blender downstairs or something? Um, that's what it sounds like. Okay, let's close that door a little bit. Hey, Tyler! Thanks for thanks for dropping in. Hello, what's up? Did you drop I, in? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. If, oh no, yeah, no. He just he just dropped in, dropped a follow, and left. Oh, well. <laughs> well then. Hi, bye then. Yeah, hello and bye. Um, I don't know, this seems a little light. It might be fine, but Ugh, maybe? Primer smells so strong. I know, it smells awful. Oh, this is not much, just a work, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, then go back to work then. <laughs> don't get fired over us. <laughs> We're not doing any, like, giveaways, so, like. <laughs> it's nice to... I know that you that you're alive. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, nor talked to you. And I see like like a couple of your posts every once in a while, and then just like. Oh well, he does post memes. So yeah, he posts memes a lot. So. So he's definitely alive. He's alive for sure. <laughs> he's posting something. I don't know about this, man. I'm not content because you know I think I what we should have gotten. Mm -hmm. Some sponges. Sponges? Yeah, because I don't like... Well, that stuff might work. What stuff? What else? Can you give me the little squares that you were using? Oh, okay, yeah. So what I think... For I'm texture? Gonna, yeah, what I think I'm going to do, because I don't like it just being this. It kind of looks like sand to me, and this is not the vibe I'm wanting. I'm wanting dirt. So I think I'm going to use the, um, the sponge... And I'm going to give it more texture. It's at least the idea. All right. Well, that is coated, and I almost just dipped this primer brush into my drink again. But brush. that it is. Yeah, I would not want to drink that afterwards. Don't really feel like poisoning myself on camera. I don't know if it actually poisoned me, but yeah, it would probably, be gross. It probably wouldn't taste great. No, it really wouldn't. I think I'll go in with like the, the, what is it, the raw umber and maybe some red, not red red, but like the, um, the burnt, burnt sienna, I feel like the burnt sienna is kind of like a reddish. That's what, that's what you're using? No. Are you using raw umber? I'm using that color. Oh, burnt sienna. No, it's not. It's raw sienna. Oh, raw sienna. Oh, okay. I'm Sorry. Using, I'm using There's two many siennas. I know. There really <laughs> is. Like, they really need to think of some new names for these fucking browns. Uh, I'm uh, so uh, done. Honestly, <laughs> it's not that they're not they're not inventive names. It's, it's just that they, they carry the names over just from, like, like forever ago. And another ad. Yay. Um, so, I'm thinking about maybe mixing these two colors... Um, I know this looks really red on camera, but it's just a red brown if you don't know what burnt sienna kind of looks like. Um, I'm going to mix these colors and I'm going to use a little like uh, sponge like thing. It's like this foam material that Dominic got um, in the oh, mail um, to hold something. Yeah, I think it came with a manager or something. It's, I think people call it like XPS foam. It's just really like, uh, it comes up like, kind of horrible on camera, but. Like this um, really like dense foam has these really small bubbles, 
but it makes it really good for like great for like texturizing something and it even get re it's really handy because it is came in as like already like like cut up things so i can really just like pull off one of these chunks so really easy and then just kind of like pull off little bits and it texturizes it for a nice um like stipple sponge or something however you want to name it so we're gonna hey taco we're gonna go there. We're gonna. Can I see? Yep, there you go. Uh, I just pull off, start pulling little bits off of one end. Why? So you texturize it, otherwise, you're gonna get like flat. Oh, okay. It just comes out, I just think it comes out nicer. Alright, well, this is dry. Well, yeah, I kinda there. did it, not really. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You do it. Look at this mess it makes. Yeah, it makes a horrible mess. This is obviously not good for the environment. Nope. Thank you for handing it back, though. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Figured one person should hold all the trash. <laughs> uh -huh. The trash can is right next to you. I know it is. <laughs> Get over it. I'm not really mad. I'm just complaining. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Here, here's your, um, since you're not using this wet palette, I feel like it's just just because I like paint movies. I would. I would do. Are you gonna use paint right now? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> okay. So, you can see right here and I'm pretty much just gonna get this and I'm gonna like just mix it around and make some interesting concoction and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna of course loosen it because it's a little s strong right, well while you're and stealing I'm the palette I'm gonna go ahead and just like <laughs> scrape some of this stuff up off my this. Oh, I think that looks a lot better. Yeah, mixture? Yeah, uh, mixing the colors, I think that's a lot better. It kind of makes it look more soil-y. Yeah, because you know? there's not like one tone. So I feel like this is kind of like a sand color, and then this helps give it more of a dirt. Yeah. A dirt vibe. <laughs> Gives you those dirt feels. Mm -hmm. The dog is in the dog being in here, she's just like looking for food because she just likes the smelling the entire carpet. Oh, damn, you know what I forgot to get? What did you forget to get? Some Cheetos. Oh brother. I thought you said you I thought you were gonna say like you forgot to get like a color or something. No. I forgot to get some Cheetos while we're out. It's alright, it's fine. <sighs> we can go on a Cheeto run later. It's nine now. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh, I mean if you wanna just like Leave your stuff there for a minute and go make a run. I'll keep the stream up. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need it that bad. If I do, I can find it. If you a, do? If I do, I'll go find a way. I really... See if you can send somebody else on a cheater run? <laughs> hmm? See if you can send somebody else on a cheater run? You won't leave. No, they won't. I'm getting it all over this green. I really, I mean, where it's supposed to be green, so I really hope that green is gonna cover it. Well, it should. Ugh. Oh, see, can you hand me the red? But I already hand me the red. I just set it in a weird spot. repeat this song but we still listen to the song already and each of these tracks these tracks are fairly long so that's why it like said like hey are you still listening and did the spotify thing mm. i don't know you think that looks more like dirt oh yeah uh if you wanted to you could probably add like another tone like something dark darker than that like just less do you have a brown wash i absolutely have a brown wash i have one that is made for exactly doing that would it help you think or no uh yes i actually i oh you're gonna be a little bit mad at me. Because oh. again, I have a thing that was all your problems like 10 minutes ago. Um, it's called Stir with Mud. It is literally mud texture. Well, but I it's don't, mud. I don't want it necessarily mud. I just want it to oh, look like okay. dirt. Don't uh, be mad at me. Um, no, that's like mud, mud. That's like wet mud when it's done. Oh, when it dries. Um, no, but I have actually, uh, it's called uh, Agrax, Agrax Earth Shade. Let me see if I actually. I think, oh no, I finished off my smaller version of this. So yeah, this is, this is for that. Oh, yeah. Let me shake it up because the pigment, even though they're liquid, the what the pigment in it still settles. Okay. Yeah. Don't spill it. They're all really 
ways, so. Hmm. You know from experience. I know from experience. The smaller ones are even, the smaller ones are just, like, the smaller ones you think would be harder to form. They are not. The big ones are just as easy. I'm actually going to let this dry, though. Okay. Because I kind of like what texture it's giving me. It's yeah. giving me kind of this gravel, like, mm -hmm. humpiness. Yeah. yeah. I think I have, like, oh, I have, like, ballast. Uh, it's, like, so it looks like miniature, like, rock, like, miniature, like, gravel terrain. Yeah. So you could even do that if you really wanted to, like, go full scale, like, like, um... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Um, well, at least I used all this paint. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that black, man. That black is... You're never going to use that much black. That black is going to be need, so like, gross. I had to scrape I, it off. Dude, like, I'm going to have to... We have to print, like, three more of those no-face... Three, four more of the more of those no-face over for you to use that much black. Yeah, I guess so. Well, whatever. All right, well, thank you for the comment. Anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I did. All I did was... I had all three colors, and I kind of just chose where to dab it around and then just dab it on there it gives it a nice like texture i think some of the foam came off and it's just stuck there forever now there you go the texture <laughs> actually let's try you should that. be able to pull it off i don't want it there though yeah no it's probably it's, yeah there we go there um it gives it a nice it gives it a i like using sponges this isn't exactly ideal but um it works considering how small it is, you know? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna add some more water to this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and like, lift this out, lift this, lift this out. Just like tilt it up, just pull it up. Don't make an ocean. No, no. It's just enough just to keep it. Like, I don't have to put as much because we don't have the fan on. This is one of those Starbucks coffee containers I've just had like forever. I know. The thing is, they're meant to keep liquid, so like, honestly, when it, whenever I like, I, in the past I've been thirsty, I just like keep like get keep whatever just take a sip. Cool. So, All right, for me so and the palette. I'm gonna let that dry for a bit before I even bother. Um, now, what should I do about his sure. now his stick? I feel like the uh, raw sienna would be perfect because I feel like his stick. Is a really, really light color. Let's see. Maybe I have something. All right. I'm gonna use this new color. I have bronze yellow. I feel like Ooh, his. Look at that. Look. Really? What? Ooh. You just need to get a nice little drip so you can get like a nice little like drop out of it. Uh, like the. Um, I, don't know, I guess you call it the applicator. Because these, these, these are these are pretty neat. So like oh, a very cap, kind of a, like a two-part cap. Uh, you can kind of just pull one off, and you can get like a drop applicator. Or put it back on. You can do this, uh, and then bam! You can actually just do the brush. Um, what do you think? Uh, what's up? Like, there's like this color. Which is the raw sienna, or there is the uh, bronze yellow. For what? For his stick, because his stick is kind of a um, what's that wood? That wood that nobody likes. Like ash. Huh? Ash. A S H. Uh, like what Nana's uh, desk is, or what like oak. that oak. wood is? Oak. oak. Yeah. I feel um, like his stick is like an oak color, but I don't know what uh, it's you know what, kinda it looks, green, I, I feel think like. it's look how pukey that looks. Yeah, it's definitely green in it. I, I would say go with the I would say go with this one. This is messy. Go, go with that. And then also after you're done, uh, like after you do that, maybe take some mix it with a little bit of white. Just lighten it up and mm -hmm. then like do a highlight or something. That's um, a good idea. Up to you. What is this? Was what that, that me? That was you. You're like, babe, this whole side over here, that's you. You, you, you literally went over that like a minute, a couple of minutes ago. We are like, this is my side, that's his side. <laughs> I know, but I was just saying, <laughs> I, I don't remember using the red, but... What am I doing? It's too small of a brush. But I painted him, so of course yeah. I used red. Um, I'm going to grab a bigger brush. Shit, he just split in half, god damn it. Well, that's the good part about them being like... Nesting dolls? Nesting dolls is that they're supposed to. 
Mm -hmm. If you're not supposed to, then I would also be set for you. Nice. Hey, believe it or not, believe it or not, this is actually the first time I'm actually gonna be actually gonna be using this brush. It's the first time I'm actually using the paint thing big enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you pretty excited to paint that? Yeah, actually, I'm actually I actually really like it. So the the model is like a imitation of like Sanguinius from the Warhammer 40 40,000 series. Oh wow, look at that. Look. Oh wow, that looks nice. The spread's really easy. Wow, that's pretty opaque. Yeah, I, I'm spreading it pretty thin. Like, I didn't get much much on my much on my brush, and look how far I can get it to go. For it not being like miniature paint, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's what I would. This is what it, it has a really bad sheen on the camera because it does doesn't it? look. Oh, it yeah. doesn't oh, look. Oh, there you go. There you go. I was gonna say it doesn't look nearly as opaque in the camera, but that's because yeah. it has this like glare. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit glossy when it first goes on, but what we, from what we saw at the store, it dries really matte. Yeah, so what it looks much, like. Much I'm happy about. I definitely wouldn't want it to have like this huge glare, or like be like super gloss, so I have to like really hit it with some matte. I'm definitely gonna have to do layer. It's even though this is fairly opaque because of the pink undertone, I'm definitely gonna have to do layers just to make sure that pink undertone doesn't come through too much. You can but, always go over it with regular red. Yeah, this is well because just this get is, a good base down. Yeah, this is gonna be like my base coat since I'm gonna do like this like like the him like classic like demon red. I feel like our show, I feel like like this like our when we do our streams like they kind of they're also like it's like partly it's like mostly mostly a like painting stream but it's like also like partially like podcast style just commentary yeah we're just really just doing commentary just like PBS style <laughs> we're like all right so now we're gonna do this <laughs> not really but like you know kind of same some of the same same vein there yeah we're not really like doing tutorials but like. We're still like explaining what we're doing. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this white. Which I know, like like I said earlier, I know like when I when I watch a painting channel, I like having them narrate. Yeah. Or, like not necessarily narrate, but like kind of just explain like how they're how they're doing it, just to like get an idea of like oh okay I could do that or like oh you know what? I have those colors. And like pull out so like if you either pull out something similar or like do your own like variation on it. I think it needs to be lighter. It's not quite light enough for me. Or even like explain a technique. Let's see. Still um, looks that's a bit not bad. Dark. Still looks a bit dark though. Yeah. I think I'm uh. Oh, that Rossiana. Or is that Rossiana? Yeah. That is very poop brown. <laughs> what, like, like diarrhea poop or? Um, I don't you know. Just, just, a just in general, like, like generic poop. Just generic poop. Generic poop. No, kind of nothing special. Just like generic. I'm using the um that paint, mm -hmm. the white from the paint that we just got. Oh yeah. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how it mixed with um paint other, that's other, not like, itself. Other acrylics. Yeah. How's it going? Um, it looks fine so far. Like just like any other. Seems like it's doing its job mixing. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Like, look, it's coming up pretty good. Like. On the, yeah. camera, on the camera, it looks really nice. Like, there's a glare when I, like, get it at the right angle, but, like, otherwise, it's just a nice, solid red. Yeah. Like, I can so tell, like, it's still, still patchy. Like, I haven't got it fully coated yet, but I like it. That's good, though. Well, but, um... I don't know, we should try to get a, um, like I said, I know I told you before, but we should try to get a schedule, we should try to get, like, a schedule doing this, so, like, people can actually, like, tune in if they feel like. Tune in and out. Yeah, so we'll at so they know, like, hey, you know, so they're not just waiting for an alert from Twitch, and go, oh, hey, they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be on. Well, that's why I was thinking, like, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, so we're not doing it too often. Mm hmm Because we'll probably do it more often on the weekend. Yeah, or or for longer. Or for longer, but, but like just so that there's something going on during the weekday. Week. So we're not doing streams exclusively on the weekend. Yeah. Cause like people's got lives. Like, yeah. They might go on 
vacations and stuff, so. Yeah. Things aren't missed. Yeah. I think this looks a lot better, lighter. I think that looks more like a... Doesn't that look more like a... It's mm -hmm. like a oak. Yeah, that's a lot closer. I like that. Um, that or was it like you can kind of if you if you really if you're feeling adventurous you can like try to imitate the wood grain. Heck no. No <laughs> one's got time for that shit. No one. Um, first you're wrong. The only reason why I don't want to do that is because I don't even have guidelines. Like there, it literally has nothing. No, All it I has know. Yeah, is some really... divots in it. Yeah, I know. No, you'd have to you'd have to freehand them if you wanted to do that. I'd have to use the butterfly eyelash. <laughs> it's a quadruple zero brush. Butterfly eyelash. Which to be give me butterfly eyelash. Which for reference is about that big. so much brown where the grass is supposed to be it's a little annoying on my end but we'll live it's okay that green you that new green we got is fairly opaque it should be really opaque so yeah it should be fine i'm really trying to stop myself from like reaching across the camera every time is it like spreading well like um um it seems to like it's not just like hitting and soaking in um i think the real test will be when you use it on a canvas rather than this because this is so textured I was kind of thinking of getting a painting ready and like somehow getting a canvas in here, but it has to be something that I'm willing to finish in like two or three settings because I ended up having not only our two desks and this table in here, but also an easel in here. We ain't playing that game. That's too much shit in here. Well, you can get like a real small, a real small one. You get a small canvas. It was Oh, you mean like just... What about the same ones? Yeah, but painting like that, like not... I don't know how to explain it. Like, your perspective sometimes gets a little off when you're painting on a table. No, I mean like one, using one of the thin canvases. That's like, fine, but what does that have to do with the canvas? No, the because the, you know, I'm because of the ones that are smaller. Yeah. They're just like one of the ones that gets like a, like a sheet of paper size. Yeah. And just so you're not like, so you can probably finish it in like one or two sessions, not like oh. over the course of a month is what I mean. Um, I could. I know you like painting like large and in charge, but for sake of space. Yeah, I know. Like if that's not what you're going to like seriously do some time to. I really want to paint something that like has been visually in my head because I saw it one day driving from school. Um, but it's hard for me to want to, like, somehow recreate it when I don't even, I should have, like, stopped and took a picture or something, because I don't even have a reference. Like, it's going to be all from my head, which isn't a problem, but at the same time, it's kind of a problem. <laughs> it's not easy either. Yeah, because I'm not good at trees, <laughs> and it has to do with trees. Just call it, call it abstract, not a flinch. Well, I paint very, um, what's the word? Expressionistic. So, um, that also helps because I'm not trying to make it super hyper realism because yeah. I don't. That is a lot of time. It takes too much time and I don't care about that. That's not your style. Yeah, it's not my style. Not my jam. Um, this is still. Oh no! What is that? Where did this plastic come That'd from? That'd be a 3D printing fuzzy. <laughs> Can I see the butterfly eyelash? <laughs> well, butterfly uh, lesson learned. Eyelash. This is not miniature eyelash. paint. Don't shake it. Eyelash. Why? Because he gets paint all over the nozzle. Oh, <laughs> I'll clean. I'll clean it. it. Look, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean it. Don't just leave it all messy. All right. You just have to shake everything. Can you hand me the butterfly eyelash, or are you gonna use it? No, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna be using it for a while. 
Oh, so don't mix up, don't shake don't them. Don't shake them, they don't need to be shaken. They're not, they're not that kind of thing. Okay, is that it? They're not that kind of thing. Okay. Lesson learned. Um, Butterfly eyelash. Butterfly eyelash. Quadruple zero, bro. Quadruple zero. 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 I can't tell who's actually No, you know, I like if I wanted to see like who's actually watching, I'd have to like go to actually Twitch. Oh, well. Uh, or like go to OBS. Well, it could have been Tyler just because he's like at work. Yeah, at work. So he's just like in an like, you know, when it's like on his break or whatever. <laughs> or when he's just like in a corner. <laughs> when there's no cameras. Yeah, cuz I think he's the he's the manager now. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, you have 41 views. Total like 41 unique views. Cool. Cool. Oh, this might be a little dark. Okay. Let's see. There are like some divots and stuff. Yeah, I like this track. again but with different colors just because of like the crazy texture of this thing I have like some of it almost like some of this I almost have to like if I don't if I don't have the brush like loaded with paint I have to like stipple to get really get it in there also some of some of this I'm also avoiding until I move to small brush keep getting plastic on here where is this plastic coming from i don't know it's just floating on me i guess we like breathing in plastic now you know i'm not gonna say no omg baby <laughs> i'm not saying i'm putting it in the air i'm saying i don't know i'm putting some texture in the wood because i feel like it's a bit flat yeah. Yeah, wood's not flat. Bark isn't flat. That's good. It's not right. I don't Are you just doing like the one shade darker or what? Um, no, I'm just mixing. I'm just. Mixing as you feel? Yeah. Cool. I kind of do that. I just do what I want. Yeah, just like. It's part of what art is. Artist touch. Kind of just do as you like, do as you please. It's definitely like kind of hurts my fingers though. Which I'm sure you have no sympathy for me because your hands go numb. Absolutely not. My hand, my my hand, my like, like the from the middle of my hand to my thumb, and then like sometimes up to my up to my elbow go numb. So. What do you think? Get on my level. <laughs> with the numb, with the hand hurting. But no, I like it. Uh, I like that you've added, I like that you've added the texture. Um, it um, yeah, it looks better. It's better than just being flat. That's what I was thinking too. This is going to require cool car two coats. It looks pretty good other than that. This music is, um... Well, it's just a royalty free stuff. Oh, okay. I was just making sure it still was. Um, yeah, still under. Yep. Okay. Yeah, best non copyrighted music. 2018. That one was a bit of a. Oh, this one. This, this, uh, this specific one, this specific one video is like 30 minutes. That's good. Okay, here. What? Double eyelash. Done with it? Yeah. 
I think we're clean off before we hit or you hand it back. Hold on. This is the wrong one. Totally just jacked it up. Um I need a new piece of Can I get the is it the cover for this one back? Oh yeah, it's actually right here. Um, oops, sorry, I just shook it. Okay. Um, what will I do about the grass? I guess I'll just use this as a base. As a base. Oh, we just got it. Someone has to try it out. Careful. How Squeeze it. Know? Squeeze huh? it a little bit. What do you mean? Say Squeeze what? What is that? I think it's just like. Oh, I hold the bottom. Because, like, otherwise you end up, like, accidentally, like, unscrewing it. Oh, there you go. So you, like, twist it a little bit, or okay. tilt it. I don't know. I guess this is a trick, too. Whatever. Like, dip that and not get, like, the entire Can lid. Can you give me one of these, but, like, clean? Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. See, this is all dark. This is all light. Mm -hmm. This is also full brown. I'm just going to apply on it. Can you apply on it? Mm -hmm. I'm not a bad idea. We're gonna see how this works out, shall you a, we? You have a lot of uh, surface area there. Oh shoot, that was close to being somewhere where it's not supposed to be. You know, I think I don't know. I'm gonna. I should have planned ahead a little bit more and I figure out how I'm how I'm gonna do this. What? Like the, like this bone thing, this like bit of bone back uh -oh. here. Like, cause like he's red. Yeah. So, what I'm thinking about is just like taking blue and make it purple. I need a stipple brush. No, I need. I want more of this. Whatever this is. Oh. Uh, foam. Preferably before this dries. It's not gonna dry that fast though. This stuff. It's taking some time. Thank you. Brand new one. Nice and clean. We're just gonna... Oh dear. <laughs> Is it working or no? Huh? Is it working? Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, Doing going something? in... It's uh, going in them grooves. Alright. I'm gonna need a lot of green. <laughs> Maybe next time just put it around a sponge. No, well that's no, that's not the problem. It's how much depth it has. How hard it is to get actually in between. Like you gotta actually get it in between. So we're gonna use some. We're gonna use multiple greens here so that I'm not wasting so much paint, and it'll look better anyways. So I'm gonna bring in some yellow. New paint. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put it. Make it as random as possible. Wow, that puts on a lot more. <laughs> it's because it's it, it really gets in the grooves the best. What, the uh, basics? No, just like putting it on there, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Because at that point you're just you're not trying to get it in there. It's already there. You're just trying to just smush it in. Yeah. Move it around some more. Yeah. I didn't think this through because now I can barely touch this thing. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna work through it. I feel like right now you're just like the like the like the this is fine meme with the house on fire. <laughs> like this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yep, that's how I live my life. This is fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna just gonna make him like actually make this thing purple. 
and I'll just like do like a red undertone, and then just you slowly go up with blue. Um, for what? Because I want to do like the back, the back hit, like this is where this bone is, like the bone sticking out of his neck. Yeah. Um, like bone with like a little some like blood color. Like, um, you know, do, like a little bit of blood effect. So you think it's gonna be too much red? Yeah, it, it's just kind of blend in. It's like it's not gonna show up. So actually, then I just go ahead and I'll just kind of make some on the fly adjustments here and um, make his make his like skin tone actually like purple instead. So like maybe he's like a ten inch demon or a, you know not red demon. What the. Like, oh hi hi. So like I said, I want to do that effect down back here, but I do not want it. To, I don't want to just like like people to just go. Oh, I didn't know there was a blood effect back there, just because it's all red. Yeah, I get you, babe. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm finger painting at this point. <laughs> Are you using your fingers now? No, it's just so much is already on my fingers. Oh, I know. I'm about to start using a brush soon because it's not um, getting into these grooves very well. Yeah. You're going to need something uh, tougher. Something new. Plus, then I won't have to worry so much about um, getting this red really super saturated. Yeah. I can just, like, use that blue to do that, to do the saturation for me. Yeah. What kind of blue are you gonna use? Um, we have are this new stuff. This stuff we have primary blue, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I want. Oops. Damn it! Stamp the camera again. Um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Um. I don't know. I just need something that will turn this. Turn this. Um, a little purple, basically. So I was thinking maybe like a ultramarine blue or something, since it has a nice purple undertone to it. Um, but I'll, I'll probably just use like some of my paint, some of my miniature paint. Yeah. And then just make a wash out of it. That'd be a good idea. You don't have a blue wash already? I do. Or a purple wash? I don't have purple wash. You know, I think I actually have a, I actually have a blue oil wash in the other room. You made it with my oil paint, didn't you? Sure did. My oil, my oil paint, my oil, my oil, my oil, my oil. Oh, I love the smell of paint. Mm, I'm pretty neutral on that. I don't love it, but I could uh, stand to be without it. Did you give me a look? I know. Oh, I just saw you like move a little bit. I was like, is she giving me a look right now? Well, now that since we don't have cameras on our faces, you'll never know. See? You're like, I knew it. See? You should. We didn't have cameras on our faces in the first place. Huh? We didn't really have cameras on our faces in the first place. I know, but what I'm saying is, now that we don't, since we don't, you'll uh, never know. Well, 
This is actually looking pretty good. Of ghosts. Huh? So, and we're back to an audience of ghosts. <laughs> that's what I felt like. It's no big deal. It's too long. People aren't going to stay here oh, and yeah. watch the whole time, man. Yeah, I mean, we're at an hour 40 already. People are going to check in, they'll check out, they'll check in again, they'll check out. Oh, yeah. It's nice that somebody showed up, though. That was cool. Mm uh hmm. -huh. Got to see Tyler, and then I don't know this other person. Mm -hmm. That was nice of them to appear. Mm uh hmm. -huh. And did they follow us too? Yeah, they did. Which, that's cool too, you know? Yeah. We're kind of just doing this for the heck of it. Yeah. Like we have, I mean, like, we have a... I would like to call semi-professional setup, but it's really, probably really not. <laughs> okay, well, there, it's red. Ta-da. Yeah, that's definitely red. Wow, that's pretty um, opaque. Yeah. That's some strong stuff right there. It's a very strong red. Mm-hmm. For sure. Alright, now I'm going to make it purple. I wipe it on myself instead of my. This is looking pretty good. I like the yellow in it. It almost looks oh, yeah. like flowers. Yeah, it does. Um, I like how I wipe it how I wipe my brush on myself instead of my. Apron? Apron? Oh, I always wipe stuff on my apron. I know. Alright, well, turn me purple. Um, I'll try a blue wash first. If I don't, I don't like it, I will just move to. Um, Did you say I, you have a green wash? Green wash? Yeah. Yes. Do I have to wait till this is dry? Please. Okay. I don't want green paint in my wash. Okay. Well. Good thing no one's watching because I really have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be doing something? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, at least it'll be something for someone to see when it's posted on YouTube. Well, if you want, you can make a grab a snack. I was actually thinking about um, putting some of the darker green in here, but I think I need it dry to... So you can place it where you want it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to redo this, um, this stump because it's got green all over it. <laughs> Wish I knew that was gonna happen. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> Narrator, it was not fine. <laughs> it looks really cool though. I really like the yellow in it. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Because the yellow almost makes it look like there's like, you know those yellow flowers that you see in grass? Definitely, or not, um... Yep, I know what you mean. You know what I mean though. I know, Dominic knows what you mean. Brain doesn't. I kinda wanna go get some Doritos. Sort of purple. Huh? So this is makes it sort of purple. What happened? Blue wash. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on? I'll see if that would do it. Are you wanting purple? Yeah. Specifically? Oh, you're probably just gonna have to use a purple paint. I have purple. <laughs> I'll get my purples out for you. It's kind of has to dry anyways. Mm. In the spots where the red, actually the red paint is standing, it makes it kind of like 
purple E. But that's gonna be I'm gonna be, be here a long time if I wait if I do this. It's gonna be darker than I will, than I want. Because it's a wash. I have like a maroon. Like this, yeah. Like this, this, but I don't have anything else. Okay. These are the only options I got for you. Um, give me the dark one. This one? Yeah, the dark one. And I need to make a oh these stuff. Like I need to wash both these. What are you doing? I'm not gonna just paint purple. I'm gonna like try to like. You should show the camera. Bring up the purple. Let's see what you're doing. Alright, I'm just gonna make a wash. I'm just gonna. Uh, what about? Oh my goodness, he's gonna be big. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The turn. He's his legs are like half done. Oh no, like one eighth done. Oh my god. He's gonna be pretty big. How does he fit on this? He looks huge already. That just keep no, that just keeps him up. Like that's just, that's just to keep him from falling over. He's not it's not he doesn't fit underneath he doesn't fit underneath it. His leg his arms are like huge. His arms are like way out here. Dang, wait a minute, I'm confused, but isn't this what he sits on? Yes. I don't know if they I don't know if they necessarily did scale. Oh. I don't know if it's necessary to like, completely to scale. Because his, his, yeah, so, I don't know. We're just going to have to see how it turns out overall. Um, anyway, you know, I'm actually going to go grab some medium. If I waste a bunch of filament and this shit don't look good, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Great, now I have to let this dry. I got nothing to do. Nothing. Oh, actually, well, maybe a kid. See, look, I got like all kinds of green. I don't know if you can see it. But all kinds of green right there. Just gotta let that dry. Well, if you, if you uh, wanted to paint, paint a. Say it. Miniatures! I don't wanna hear it. I told her she wanted to paint, if she would paint. If she didn't have such a problem painting small stuff, then um, I, could totally, I could totally probably give her a few things to work with. What is that? Airbrush thinner. I mean, it's essentially medium, but it's made to thin down paint. I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to go a little bit of time. I'm just trying to make this thin enough so I can apply it like a wash. That's pretty thin. Then was a mistake. Why? I don't know. I want to see. Right, well, I'm gonna stop here and then just 
Give that a minute to dry. What's wrong? I don't know. Just see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of an experiment. Shit has worked. And so far the answer is not well. Alright, that should be back on. You have to listen to us. That's right. Yeah, we should lower it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here. Let's just lower these first top ones. Yeah. How low do you want it? Um, uh, right there. There you go. Oh, cockeyed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Oh man, you almost had it. Good. Yeah, I think that's close enough. That's pretty close. Alright, close enough. Just so there's something on the other side while I'm waiting for stuff to dry, and then that'll fix. 
Yeah. Right. Oh. Massively fuck this up, man. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Stop messing with it. You're gonna snap it. Well, it has to be snapped to. How are we gluing it? Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how else are we going it? Yeah, we're going to have to pull it off. It's okay, it'll reglue. It looks like it, like, broke out a layer or two. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably what happened. Broke perfectly. Well, honestly, it's yeah. it's better that it broke perfectly like that, so it makes gluing easy. Yeah. Did it, did it really break out a layer? Yeah, look how perfect it is. Yeah, it's a flat break. Okay, well, better than it being a weird one. Yeah. It's easier to fix. Oh, by the way, what you guys are watching is my is the bottom half, I think, of the uh, turnip head from Spirit Away. No, House Moving Castle. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. It's all right. How's the moving castle? It's a turnip head, so um, for those who are not anime nerds like I am, don't get so happy this. Um, it's just a it's just a little scarecrow that follows around Sophie, the main character. So. Um, cold, cold thing of water. I'm kind of like sweating here. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone would appreciate that. If I want a snack, I'll get one like after our stream's over. Sitting. It's not sitting li nicely. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I think the red just looks better. Yeah, I know, but it's not gonna. Then I would suggest using blue. It, you can use blue, but like, what's that color I had? Does this have a red undertone? No? Yeah, it has a red undertone. But use it, not as a yeah, wash. Yeah, not as a wash. I think I think that's my problem. It's a wash, and then these really aren't meant to do that. Because it's not straight. Because those aren't just pigments. A lot of medium. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll try that. Let's see how that comes out. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, I like that. I like that color a little bit better. I actually really like it too. When it started going on, I was like, it's well, funny. That, it, it, really and actually, nice. and it's funny because it reminds me. There's there's a type of demon, and there there's a type of demon in Warhammer called the called the pink demon. A pink demon? They, they're they're really weird. They're these really weird, like starfish looking things that like run on two legs and they have this weird like te head tentacle. Oh, they're, they're not the. I don't think that's what this is. I don't. I don't. I think this was like specifically made to not look like anything from from the fiction. Yeah. Just so they didn't get like. Copyright, like, hammered. Yeah. That's no bueno. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually liking this color. Especially over, especially over the red base. It's working, working pretty good. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying I like it. I kind of wanted you to pick that one at first, but you're like, well, I'll do this one. I'm like, oh, well, at first I had, like, a, like, a, like, you know, okay, instead of red, let's do a purple demon instead, but, like... I like that. Yeah, but if you would have done just straight purple, you would have lost the red altogether. Yeah. So doing this kind of color is still kind of keeps the nice red the undertone. What do they call maroon? Maroon. I love how I'm supposed to be 
like an art person and I just can't think of the proper words for all these colors. And I'm the one like naming colors and I just like do this as a hobby. Silence you. I'll be back. I'll bring you your water. You want to ice me water? Please. Okay. I'll be back, my ghost friends. The ghost army. I swear, I feel like I might actually change my icon to a ghost just because, like, nobody. But, and then, like, if we really do get followers in the future, then okay. it, then it, hey, I thought you left, okay? Listen, I'm so sorry, but there's a spider on the wall. Oh. I can't move any closer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What am I going to do with you? You would like me to deal with it? Um, kind of. Where's it at? It's just curious, like, just curious. Like, I'm going to help, but, like, where is it? Is it on the stairs? No, it's on the wall where the stairs are. Cause I'm not about to like, if it's like in the middle of the stairs, I'm not about to like, like, go for a swing and then just like die rolling down some stairs. <laughs> no, like, I'm not gonna do that. Like, if it's on the stairs, you're you're gonna have to like, you're gonna just stay, you're gonna have to like, just like, yeah, I don't know. No, it's on the wall. Oh, okay. Where's the shoe? <laughs> you need a shoe. I do now. See what I had to put up with? She's by your feet. Where's, your, shoes. where's, where's your sandal? They're downstairs because wow. I take them off by the door like a normal human. Hey, I take them off where it's comfy, okay? Five XP points for me.
Yeah, it feels a little. Looking better. Yeah, it's a little dark just because of that blue wash beforehand. Yeah. You're in the hot tub? Of course! But I'm not gonna have you in the hot tub, I'm not gonna have you in the hot tub. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I live for the hot sauce in my memory, which is like it. Really? Yeah, I don't know. My stomach's not feeling right now. I think it's just on oak. I'm a little bit hot right now. A little overheat. Yeah, I'm not feeling that good. Yeah, I'm not feeling that good. This is definitely going to take like two coats of this purple. So it's nice and even. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out once the first coat's done. Are watching the stream in the viewfinder? Mm -hmm. Are you watching the stream in the viewfinder? Uh -huh. Cool. I think what's going to help is it's not an even three coats of something. Hmm? I think what didn't help is it's not an even three coats of something. Even three coats? Because you did the wash. Yeah. And then you stopped. So it's like, yeah, I thought I should have kept containing it just so it was even. It still looks nice. What are you going to do about the horns, do you know? Um, no, not really. I was, um, am I doing great? 
just, or like do, well, I'm going to do like a um, not quite black, gray, and okay. then uh, like total, like go totally black on, all, on them, and then as, a, and um, then go in and use different shades of gray up to like a um, fairly light gray, and um, to do like that shadow, mm. do like a drop shadow. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother with like, 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 mo like, like model shadow. Oh. Or, or anything like that. Like, you know, like screen shadow where he's gonna wear, like he was gonna be or anything like that. Um, because you don't really know. No, I don't really know, cause like even though like the like the files a certain way, like you can still kind of like change a little bit like how the arm is positioned. So. Not exact, but it's pretty close. So you like mostly know what position he's gonna be in. Go ahead and just actually like do some filing on this. there at the bottom. This is gonna be a fun paint. The sword. Are those flames? Yeah, the flames. Um, yeah, it's kind of dealer's choice on how you want them to show up. So like, you can do like you can do like classic like like orange and yellow, orange to yellow flame, and like like do like this bit of the blade, like like do the do like the entire blade of orange, like the whole blade's like super hot and heated. Um, so you do the whole, or like you can do really, you can just make the blade any color you want. So if you want to do like blue fire or like a, like a um, yellow gold to white, so if you want to do like some kind of like some, like some sort of like holy avenger type sword deal or something. But I'll probably just do classic, like, orange to yellow, or like orange, yellow, white type flame. Like, orange, well, not white, like super, like, pale yellow. Um, I'm not sure. This had come out, came, came out a little rough just because of, um, yeah, just because of the way the prints, because yeah. they're, like, they're printed like this, just to try to reduce the amount of supports needed. So I printed, I think, like this. So like these flames would just come up out of, and it wouldn't need very much support, but even still, like it's just whatever whatever's on the bottom like this is just gonna end up with like a lot of like texture just because of the method of printing. Wow, this piece didn't need any supports. This one? No, my um, what's on the? Oh yeah, because he's like. He's gonna really, like waist down and everything else gets bigger. Everything like 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 bell like it's kinda like bell shape out from there. Uh, like even his even his legs still like like curve out from the curve outwards from the center, yeah. but then curve back inwards. So and all it it, it slopes um, slow enough where it or like slopes like gradually enough where it doesn't need like a, a ton of supports, it doesn't need supports. Which is nice. Yeah, that was good. Mm-hmm. There you go. Are you gonna go back to the painting miniature while he dries? Um, yeah. Probably. 
trying to figure out where I set him. <laughs> oh, here he is. but it skipped it on its own. Well, if you're uh, really dedicated to it, really dedicated to do it today, you can go hit it with a hair dryer. or whatever this is for him, like maybe it's like heat vents or something. And we're gonna just fill this in with this with our green color. There we go. We're really gonna like Yeah, I wonder if the cancel Uh I don't remember. Maybe like well how long has it been going now? Sometime, you know, tomorrow morning. These guys show up really bad on camera. I'm sorry, guys. But the black everything just does not like to just does not show up well on camera.
that's pretty, that's pretty easy. We'll go down this side. Or if you saw someone do like a, I think I showed you someone do like a space thing. On like the, on like some, some, uh, some like, uh, some like the space marine type guys. Yeah. And it would look really cool. Like it was dated like a, like a super dark blue, like almost black. Like a blue black color as a base and then used like different shades of purple. Like all the way up to like a really like pale bright purple and like white. Yeah, and then white two stars. Really cool. It looks like it took, it took some, definitely took some time, but uh, it definitely came out pretty. Definitely came out pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So that, I think that orb is pretty good. I'll probably go back later and do like a like a glaze with it to um, get that even because it's a little patchy. But I'm gonna do that little head globe. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it straight um, green. So I'm not gonna like mess around with trying to do the like three colors on that. Mm. I might have to get a blue dryer. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Well, I'll go to the bathroom at least so you yeah. can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'll So it's like it's like viewers know you it's like know you like know you didn't just, just like know like they know you noticed them there so they go I was like oh look down look oh there's a viewer and whoop, they go again there they go Sure. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's like it oh, fluctuates yeah. the longer you're streaming. Yeah. Because people can't hold that much interest unless they're passively listening and watching, like what you do. Uh huh. Or like you're doing other stuff and you're listening. Yeah. Those are people that are like sitting around for the longest periods of time. Otherwise, people get bored, you know. Uh huh. For sure. Schrodinger's viewers. It's like Schrodinger's viewers. If you know, if you know they're watching, they disappear. If you don't know they're watching, they might be there. I think I ate some paint. <laughs> I know you ate some paint. What are you talking about? You had like a mouthful of green earlier. Hmm? You had a mouthful of green earlier. Hey, that's different. I'm talking about now. Just now? Just because look how clean my fingers got. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because you're licking your fingers from the chips. So, yeah, you probably did. Next to you. Huh? At least you don't have a mic right next to you. I know. That would be gross for anyone who would see. What's up? 
to the end of the stream here, at least, anyway, for me, at least. It's probably about maybe another half hour. Because it's 10.30. Oh, yeah. And I want to try to keep, I, wanna, I would like to go to at least 11. But I don't really want to go much past that. Why can't it just make the videos long? Ah, the video's already two and a half hours, um, so, I'm not really sure, so, well, that, and then I still just have some stuff I want to do. Uh, sure, oh, but I'll do that now if you like. Really see if you can. Yeah, for sure. Do you hear what the hair dryer? No. Oh. That just dries faster. Ooh, I like that. I like how it looks. That dryer's pretty cool. It's not like I don't know how to art, dude. <laughs> I know you know how to art. I'm just saying it looks cool. Um, and for, unfortunately, I don't think it broke as clean as we thought it did. Um, it didn't break, but it didn't break out of angle. Yeah, which is true. Which, it, which will make it easier. It's just I'd have to go over it with paint again. You're gonna see a white line. Mm -hmm. Or it can leave it, I don't know. Eh, YouTube's wondering if we're still here. What? YouTube's like, hey, are you still watching? Of course it is. We're not gonna be wasting our bandwidth on you. Man, this is looking awesome, Dave. Yeah? I'm happy we found this file. This is gonna be fun to paint. Stay there. <laughs> yep. So if I move it, if I move it, I'm just, 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 huh? I said, were you done? Well, if I wasn't, I'm done now. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we can just call it there. So that's um, almost perfectly two hour, two and a half hours. And I'll probably oh. fix this a little bit, of that little orb off stream, and then work on this gun, work on his like gun laser thing, whatever it is, staff stuff. So. Anyway, um, that's all for now. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for who, who dropped in. And Thanks for dropping in. Yeah. It was nice having people to kind of talk to for once. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.